BJP came into power, it has been spreading saffron terrorism and extremist Hindutva policies in a country which is already divided into various factions. Government bodies have started rewriting history books, lopping out sections on Muslim rulers, changing names of official places to Hindu from Muslim and more aggressively contesting holy sites. Narendra Modi has become more toxically divided between Hindus and Muslims, between upper and lower castes and even between men and women. Therefore, Prime Minister Modi and his political allies can be termed as communal fascists. RSS also demands many other places with Muslim names, including cities of Ahmedabad, Hyderabad and Aurangabad to be renamed. Following incidents have dented the so-called secular India. In May 2015, street signs in New Delhi carrying Urdu Muslim names including Aurangzeb Road were painted black by Shiv Sena. Later, changed the name to APJ Abdul Kalam. In August 2018, BJP government renamed historic Mughal Sarai Junction railway station in Uttar Pradesh as Deen Dayal Upadhyaya. In April 2016, BJP government in Haryana named city of Gurgaon as Gurugram after Guru Dronacharya. In September 2018, BJP government in Uttar Pradesh proposed to rename airports in towns of Bareilly, Kanpur and Agra. Bareilly as Nath Nagri and Agra airport to be renamed as Deen Dayal Upadhyaya. Faisalabad is renamed as Ayodhya and Allahabad as Prayagraj. Yogi Adityanath is preparing to rename Sultanpur as Khush Bhavanpur. To conclude, it would not be wrong to say that Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his party have created a poisonous atmosphere that has dehumanized minorities and inspired the violence in so-called secular India. The saffronization of Indian history by BJP government is another way to disempower Indian minorities, especially the Muslims.